Good morning, Minxie ladies. Well, I'm looking in the box from yesterday's little influx of garments. And uh, there's not many left, there's not many left ladies, and there were black skirts that were in that carton. I don't know if you saw that very uh, quick live yesterday about these skirts that have come in, the Renee skirt. Uh, so Renee is rocking the Renee skirt, yes. uh, inspired by Renee, because she loves a good skirt, and a full gourd skirt like that is really, yes. really, really comfortable to wear. Uh, so we're using our pockets and uh, playing with our pockets. So. Uh, this is one that I had at home, so I, it's had a bit of a, a quick, um, a quick little uh, hangout in the bathroom to get the it steamed and dropped a little bit. Um, loving it, love, love, love the comfort. So I said to you, ladies, that we'd give you a bit of a styling tips on how to wear skirts because. I think our style um, for the past few winters has been quite sort of layered and sort of voluminous yes. and things like that. So I thought what we'd do is just sort of remind you on how to wear skirts again. So what I've done, because it's got an elasticated waistband, I've got our little um, our little top on from last winter, which was the little girl power top. It's got like a little uh, puff shoulder pad in through the sleeve. It has the high neck I'm in sure through here. Um, and we did, look, we did try and launch these with our retailers again for this winter, but they weren't buying it. So if you've got one of these in your wardrobe from this last uh, from last winter, bring it out again, it's quite a good time where it's sort of a little bit, gets a bit hot or a bit warmer in the afternoons and things. And then I've just got our little, um, oh, what is this called? The, vi uh, I forgot. Crop V. Crop V knit. Crop V, thanks, Nay. Oh, I had a little boy, a voice from the background. <laughs> Uh, so the crop V is that kind of that one sort of style in through the sleeve. I've kind of had a play with sort of tucking it in uh, a little bit in the front here, um, just to kind of bring a bit of a waistline in. I think with skirts, particularly when they're elastic waistbanded, you do want to give yourself a bit of a waist. I also did try, and I left the belt at home, which I'm really sorry about, but I did actually try belting it and tucking the whole look in. So I can just do that, because see, it's so easy, because it's elasticated waistband here. Um, so that's... That's actually tucking it all in like that instead of blousing over. And then I had a big wide belt around here um, to create sort of more of a, a waist shape in here. Um, yeah, so that's how you play with it. Now, I'll show you Renee. She's styled it um, same, same, but different. Yeah. Uh, so she's got the black skirt on. Actually, I need to show you the boots with these. Uh, this is the new on-trend chocolate colour coming through for winter um overseas at the moment like this is what they're they're showing for their next winter collections over there this deep deep doc, deep deep chocolate brown uh so you've seen it here first at minx um very very cool colorway and i guess it's looking at those colors and going well how do you wear that and this this is a great way with your full um long skirt like that mm -hmm. um it's got a lovely black uh heel and sole on it so you kind of can when you see those sort of black highlights it's very easy to pair it back with black what I like about with what Renee has done here is she's bought, um, pulled the black skirt in through here. She's pulled the black in through her fishnet layer, yes. um, of which we've discovered a whole lot of stock out the back, ladies, yes. of the fishnet layer Medium in large, black. Medium-large, mostly medium medium large. Medium-large, oh, that's good. Fine. That's really, really good. Yeah. So um, grab them while you can because we're not repeating this style of fishnet this winter. Uh, we're doing a new version of it, mm -hmm. um, which doesn't have the same amount of stretch in it. So this is quite a good one to grab if you don't already mm. um, have this. And then she's just got her own little sweater, um, which has got slight oatmeal um, hints in it. Um, sort of sort of like a, yeah, yeah it is oatmeal. really oatmeal yeah. sort of yeah. shade. And I think that kind of, yeah, that hint of chocolate woven through there goes back nicely mm. with the boots. We haven't actually said what the boots are called. Piper, they're the Piper boots. Oh. Um, and, oh, actually if you'd like to see the other colourways, because uh, it is yeah. a really, really good little style. Uh, that's your chocolate there. Um, you go up and you've got, look, it's got white on the box, but it's actually not white. It's ivory. Um, it's got that sort of sort of ivory cream base to it. Uh, you've also got the set tan 70s suede, and I'll show you the lighter version of that. So that's your, that's, this is your 70s suede in the bone shade. Um, the difference, I guess, when you're looking at this is the sole shade here is that more sort of ivory tone, um, which I would be more tempted to wear back with the skirt that I've got on. Uh, actually, in fact, we could do that. Mm. A little experiment Ooh, yes, here. Yes, we'll get you standing over there, Ella, favorite. and then you get you standing over here. Um, oh, yes. Nay, nay, side yep. on, side on. Yep. So you can see, like, I would probably put, I'd go like this, you see, 
Oh, like look at that. That, that yeah. looks oh, no, good. Look, dummy legs. Does it look like we've got oh, dummy looks legs? Real. It looks yeah. real. It looks real. It looks yeah. Real. Okay, cool. Well, I can see an extra two feet there. Oh, yeah, but... that's a bit weird, eh? Uh, so, yeah, so that's just showing you the uh, the beautiful uh, bone sway there, which is quite gorgeous. Now, don't be afraid of suede, ladies. Just spray it, spray it with that um, combo waterproofing. waterproofing spray, Happy Days. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we were, of course, we do it in black. For, uh, if you're wanting the safe, I have this at home. I wear my funny little pants and oh, really cool. yeah. I love yeah. them. Really comfortable last, uh, good for a broader foot. Um, there's lots and lots of depth in through the toe box area here. Love all the gimping detail in mm -hmm. through here, which is all this kind of um, broguing look there. Super, super cool. Um, um, Renee says, have you got any more of the Piper coming in tan? Retailers will probably have it, Renee. We can um, find out who our retailers are and uh, and let you know. Nays is going to look at that in the background at the moment. And Caitlin says, hi team. Hi Caitlin, hope you're feeling better. Get well soon. Gosh, you checked in with Ange, my sister. She sounds terrible. Oh the no. Her little throat's like razor blade, she said. That's Aww. so, so sad. Um, if, uh, Renee, if you're looking for a tan option boot that's a little bit higher up the leg, mm. this is the Optimist in tan. Uh, here's a zipper in through the back, and then you've got all this elastic in through here 41? to get... 41? What's that? Renee, I think Renee's a 41. Renee, you're the 41A. Eh? We um, are, so, so local, Mavis Renee. and Mick have them online. Mavis and Mick um, have them online. Renee's just saying, the other Renee is just saying. <laughs> Renee said, I've looked, I can't find the tan. Oh, I, oh, I she, uh, yeah, look at May, on Mavis and Mick. She's, oh, all she's sizes. She's showing online that she's got all sizes. How could that be? Maybe she's only just released that stock online just now. Uh, now, we've got also Annie waiting in the wings too, because you said it was Diane, was it yep. Diane, that came into our live uh, yesterday or last week? Last week. Last week, and was wanting to know how to style this new combat boot look. So I'm just going to claim the combat boot look is anything that's sort of like a little bit kind of sort of grungy-ish looking, maybe laced up through the front or a lot of buckle detail, almost bikerish kind of influence, uh, but a bit more combat style. So Annie came in this morning wearing her khaki ones um, and these are the day's style. So these are a really lovely little simple easy winter boots. I feel like Annie's been wearing these a lot yes. um, so of late and I'll just show you the other colour options. So there's your beautiful just uh, simple black in it which would look really good with the skirt. So I just said to Annie throw on the, the um, Renee skirt so the ladies can see um, how I would also recommend mm. wearing a combat boot. So because combat boots tend to have that slightly sort of uh, semi-masculine heavy sort of grunge feel about it I think it's always nice to kind of make a play on that and kind of give the rest of your outfit a slightly more feminine look um, so you kind of own it a little bit more make it feel more comfortable um, to your personality so yeah so that's why I said to, Renee, uh, to Annie just throw on the little mm -hmm. new Renee skirt with that um, just a kind of well you came in with a skirt on yeah. actually the mm -hmm. actually with a dress on the barbecue dress which you still live in, yep. uh, and with the sweatshirt laid over it, but you can see here, and he's just got a comfortable, easy grey male sweatshirt on with a mm -hmm. skirt. So it's kind of like casual, casual, and then nice little skirt uh, in between yep. to kind of feminise the whole look, uh, which is really lovely. I too uh, have got the same idea and concept on as well. So I'm loving these Lee boots, uh, which we have, I think we've sold out of this winter white um, colour. Slightly higher than the dazed boot. I'm just going to put them next door to each other. Slightly higher up the leg, which I like for myself because you know, ladies, I've got this thing about my legs being but slightly chunky. Uh, I like the fact that these come up a little bit higher and hide a little bit more of my leg uh, and particularly make it a bit more welcoming to wear a skirt. So this kind of thing, this is what I mean, sorry, sorry, um, Ella, because I'm just going running around like a crazy thing. So it's this kind of thing here, you know, when you're sitting down and you're kind of relaxed and if you've got a slightly shorter boot on, you get a little bit of a skin sandwich in between the two layers. Totally fine if you've got a gorgeous, uh, lovely leg, which I don't, I claim to say that I don't really have. So uh, I'm grateful I've got legs. So I would prefer to cover it with the whole like boot. So you can see what I mean when you sit down and you've got your legs crossed, you're not getting a whole big chunk of skin in there, which is quite nice. Anthea says, I love my Lee boots too. I wear them constantly, especially with skirts. They are so 
so comfortable out there. Yeah, and I'm glad you're wearing them with the skirts because I think it is that thing where, again, it's kind of a grungier, heavier style and then it's sort of getting your head around, okay, how do I wear that? Um, I think traditionally we've been wearing a lot of sneakers and I, I would now be wearing this instead of a sneaker or as well as, you know, sort of swapping in between or uh, wearing this during the week and then into the sneaker with a skirt during the weekend just to casualise the skirt again and get a little bit longer mm. use out of it. And we still have heaps in black. We still have a couple sizes in black. Do we? Of yep. The, of, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. That's the, um, the Lee boot in black there. So I can see we've got a 36 and a 37, a 38 and a 42. Mm. Um... So you'll just notice a second ago, I just showed you um, my Lee boot and I have actually had the ankle wrap strap off it. Look, I'm a no fuss kind of girl, to be honest. When I'm racing out the door in the morning with the little people, I never have enough time for anything, so I wonder I even get some makeup on in the mornings. So I actually just take the uh, ankle wrap off it and uh, it's, it's quicker to get in and out of it. It does have that inside zipper, ladies, so it, it looks high maintenance. But it's really not. You just zip in and out of, uh, in and out of to get it um, on and off and things. Uh, so yeah. Mel Palmer says, "How much is the skirt, please?" I believe it's one eight nine. Oh, I'm really not too sure. Hey girls, do we know how much the Renee skirt is? Um, they are one eight nine. They are one eight nine. Well done, Ella. You passed the test, Ella. This morning, <laughs> uh, super good. Have we got any more questions? I just want to probably give a wee shout out. I went to a funeral yesterday and. Um, it was, you know, it was ridiculously sad, but, you know, silver linings is that I got to catch up with so many old friends and acquaintances and colleagues and bits and pieces, and it was just so nice um, just to have that reconnection. A lot of you ladies that have said that you watch the live, so it's quite nice that we're still engaged, at least at this level. Like, life is so busy and passes us by so quickly, um, and it is just a reminder to reach out. So a big shout out to you ladies. Um, Caroline, um, Michelle, and things, you know who you are, but it was just really nice to see you girls again. Um, yeah, so just thought I'd say that. I don't think we've got anything else. No, nope, that's all. Today. All good for now. Uh, so still busy designing winter, next mm. winter, ladies. Um, so it'd be really, really good um, to hear your thoughts and views on what you're particularly looking for, that you feel you've missed this winter, if there's a particular colour, a particular style of leather that you're looking for, been hunting, or a heel height or something like that. Mm. A toe shape, just let me know. Now's the time. Um, so I can get you geared up for next one too, if there's something we've Yeah, let us know about. in the comments below. We've written notes for everyone's comments that they've made yeah, last week. Yeah, have, and thank you for that. It's mm. inspiring, which is really mm. good. Anyway, take care. We're going to try to catch up with you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.